Yeah, I know. I'm waiting to see what then if I get a phone call uh, regarding next Thursday um, about my throat. You know, they might just say, how are you doing? I don't know, you know. I think they'll do it. I think I'll have to go in anyway to have this procedure done. As you know, I struggle otherwise. It gets to a certain point and I can't eat anything. I'd rather have it done sooner than later, because if I have it done next week, it might I might miss the, you know, any really ongoing situation, you know. Just have to wait and see. But uh, yes, this, well, it's electronics, isn't it, Ray? They do the strangest things. It might be the last throws of the uh, of the batteries or the last throw of the digital device. Uh, it could be anything, couldn't it? As we well know, I haven't been feeling too well uh, since we last spoke, Ray. I've not done a lot on the radio. Um, been a bit up and down, so to speak. But I've been on. Um, and I got, uh, I was speaking with Jim last night, G0DFO, for a couple of minutes. And I managed to work a special event station from uh, Bletchley Park uh, yesterday on 40. And then I worked uh, Reunion Island, the expedition to Reunion Island. But typical group, it's the second time I've contacted that group on an expedition. And uh, it was the second time I've worked the same operator, a female operator. I'm not in log. Again, I thought, she did this to me last year or the year before. I, could, I heard her clearly say my call sign, report and everything, and when I checked the log, not in log. Are you thinking, what's that all about? Not in log? Doesn't matter. I know I've worked it, but you just think they've got an online log, you know, you check it and you go, not in log, but you've just worked me. You know, you've just given the call sign out. And I thought, ah, it's the same group as before. I can't remember where they were before, somewhere else in Africa. And I had the same issue, not in log. And I thought, great, magic that, brilliant. So, you know, if anybody reliant, is reliant on them for a QSL card or whatever, uh, or a confirmation, you're going to be sadly uh, left out if that's your first ever contact with that location. Because I'm not, obviously, you're not going to, a lot of stations are not going to be in log. Anyway, I worked them, they were on 17 metres. And I just in a Chris worked uh, a guy just just on the short skip today in Germany. Um, five nine plus thirty dBs when normally is about an S five S three S five if you hear him. And it was thirty over nine, uh, so a short skip. Had a chat with Craig uh, two zero VRX mobile in the Skipton area today. So it's not been too bad. Uh, a couple of contacts into Lebanon. There were two guys operating together, which I didn't know. Um, one of them uh, called and had not worked before, so I called him and he said, can you uh, just stand by for Oscar Delta 5 Victor Bravo? And I thought, well, I know, I know Ant can hear me. Uh, so Ant called me and uh, we exchanged uh, pleasantries and uh, went on our way. So I got two for the price of one into Lebanon, <laughs> which is quite, quite novel. Doesn't often happen, that one. But uh, that was on 20. But I just saying to Chris, it bands full of Italians now, Ray. Uh, Absolutely chocker full of Italians is 20 metres. Because um, of all the lockdown, those with amateur radio equipment are on the air with that wires and whatever, uh, beams, linears, the lot, and y you can't find a clear space on 20 metres now on, during the day. It's full of it. I've never heard so many Italians on outside of a contest. It's just thronging with them. And you think, hmm, let's have some. Uh, that's, why, that's why I moved on to uh, 17 metres. Had a look on there and didn't hear much on there, but uh, I was nonetheless looking around for other things other than Italians. <laughs> anyway, let's pass it back to Chris. Uh, but uh, yeah, you have to wait and see what the hospital say. I know it's getting to the point where I say I'm thinking about, I'm not cancelling my appointment. I'm waiting to see if they cancel from their side. But I can't see that they're going to do it. I don't know if they'll do that. I don't know. It depends how on their stress on their departments, doesn't it? But either way around, um, once, my, once my throat starts to close up, it needs opening up again. I'd rather not be going, don't get me wrong, uh, under the present circumstances, but uh, needs must. It's uh, a, a bit of a lottery, isn't it? Round to you there, Chris. 2E0XLG with the group M0XLT. Yeah, 2 Echo 0X Ray Lima Golf returning. <coughs> Evening again, Ray, by the way. Um, yeah, uh, Cyrus, Kevin. I, uh, I've been in contact with an old friend uh, who turned into a, an old work buddy who turned into a, an old boss. <laughs> um, and uh, I, can't, 
can't visit him uh, to go say hello after what, 18, 20 years uh, because uh, he's got underlying health problems. Uh, it, and I did find out actually, Kevin, that he knows you. He, uh, he listens to you as a shortwave listener. Uh, he's actually into the other frequencies, this is the band. Um, but uh, he, he actually uh, listens on a handheld. I did send him a text message uh, just before I uh, keyed up and said that uh, we were on here. So it might be but, uh, Hopefully, this uh, virus issue will get rid of it. I don't know, 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 I with uh, this virus going out. Oh my goodness. I said to him just before he signed up, Tony, we're getting there. Uh, you get back out and get all, uh, you know. Uh, I suppose you can put a mask on and start coughing and soon let you go, won't it? Round to you, Kevin, from 2 e 0 <laughs> <laughs> I think they'd give you more than a three step birth. I think you'd have uh, the whole room to yourself. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, question, quick, quick question, Chris. Then, uh, where does your friend live who's listening on a handheld? Uh, I'm not hundred percent sure. He lives up in Skipton, up high in Skipton. Okay. Oh, so he's monitoring on a handheld. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Maybe. As you say, foundation license. Essex Ham do with the online course as well. Um, they have good success with all their stuff online. Uh, so that's there. So yeah, let's hope so. That'd be good fun, wouldn't it, to have someone else getting involved. Uh, it seems to be getting busier around these parts at the moment. Uh, as I said, judging by that list you sent me, it seems quite busy. And I was saying to Ray the other day, uh, when we were on an evening time, I was hearing uh, two stations in Bradford, and I forgot where the other two uh, were someone else on mode, and he said, oh, that's busy. Uh, so that evening, I had five stations on two metres, which I suppose is quite busy, isn't it, compared to a lot of areas where they have nobody. Um, we seem to be getting a little bit busier up here again, which is no bad thing. In fact, it's a very good thing. Um, as I say, uh, Craig's very keen, he's loving his two metres, he really is. So uh, I said to him, when he's out and about mobile, if he catches a trap or a lift, when he's out and about mobile, he'll, he'll, <laughs> he'll really be astounded. Anyway, round to you then, Ray. G6HMN with the group, M0XLT. That's fine, Ray. Fully understood. Yeah, Craig told me about the sort of summits. He worked, uh, what did he work? Uh, Melfell, Cumbria, and uh, Wernside. So uh, that, while he was out on his mobile, so he's managed to get a couple of sort of summits in. Uh, I wasn't around, but there we go. What's new there then? <laughs> I think I hadn't. Even, I didn't come on till late in the day. Uh, really late in the day, but hey ho, it's just what it is, isn't it? It's finding that sometimes it's not feel, when I don't feel so good. I don't want to come up here and start prattling about on the radio, you know. Just want to sit quietly. But it's just nice to come on in an evening. And uh, could do with having who is it back on. Uh, I haven't spoken to him for ages. Martin in Skipton, Mike uh, G0UCD. And I keep telling Mike G4YQA when he's called uh, to, to switch his 480R on and get on FM, but uh, it never seems to bother switching it on. I don't know why. Uh, not on FM anyway, because uh, he'd find people to chat with, wouldn't he? And I always like a natter, uh, you know, that's what amateur radio is about, rag right, chewing, isn't it? Passing the time of day, finding out about things and people and places and so on and so forth. Uh, well, I think it is anyway. Um, I thoroughly enjoy it. And it never ceases to amaze me how well Chris does from his location there at Thornton getting Whitby Repeater. <laughs> as I say, having been with Chris in the camper, we know exactly where the antenna is, and it's just astonishing. Uh, it's a long way from home, but uh, yeah, it's amazing. I don't get that that at all. I say I'm just getting uh, GB3RF, Accrington, and uh, TP repeater. RF's more active than TP. I don't know if that's there something, but it certainly is more active than TP. It's put calls out on there now. It's just no one about at all. 
and you think there must be people with handhelds. That's what I keep thinking. There must be people with handhelds, newly licensed or whatever, monitoring the repeater, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Well, to you, Chris. 2E0XLG with the group pattern 0 xlt Yeah, just leaving a pause there in case there was anybody else wishing to join us. Um, I have a little bit of news for you, Kevin and Ray. Um, we're being heard in Leeds. Um, M0RSF, Chris, is... Uh, He's listening using an SDR console, and he would like uh, myself and yourself, Kevin. Uh, obviously, he can't hear you, Ray. Uh, but he would like us to uh, say hi to all the YouTube u users um, out there. He's uh, he can only receive, there's no transmit. Um, but uh, he uh, he just wanted to know if he want if you wouldn't mind if he put um, us on YouTube because um, uh, of the strength of our signals in Leeds from where we are. My location being Thornton and Craig, uh, uh, six miles west of Kingston, uh, near the Yorkshire Lancashire border, Barnold, just near the uh, Kevin and his guard raid. But, uh, yeah. So, hello to all YouTube users from 2 Zero X-Ray Lima Golf. Uh, round to you, Kevin, and 0 xlt from 2E0XLG in the group. That's fine, Chris, 2E0XLG in the group, and 0 xlt Good evening to uh, Chris, and 0 rsf uh, monitoring on the side there in Leeds. Uh, the video you put up, Chris, very good, by the way. Um, very pleased to be the first public commenting person on your YouTube video. <laughs> very good video, actually, because it's such an easy scheme to get involved with, isn't it? The Trick Point Award from WAB. I was lucky enough to get uh, certificate number two of VHS uh, when that was introduced. So I'm uh, very pleased to do that, particularly from this location in Gargrave, four miles northwest of Skipton, in the south part of the Yorkshire Dale. Uh, 20 watts and a tri band coil in here, Chris, as you know, at 18 feet off the ground. So uh, sit sitting right by the River Air, Albert India Romeo Echo River Air at the bottom of the garden. Garden's still sodden, by the way. I had a look in the soakaway because the, uh, the soakaway grey was covered in mud, so I cleaned all the mud off and uh, looked in, well, you can see through the grey and of course it was just water sat there, so the water table is still very high around these parts. Uh, been on 20 today, uh, a bit of short skip in, uh, into Europe, Chris, uh, Delta Kilo 3 Echo Echo, very strong, just, under, just over 750 kilometres, which is my short skip distance which I reckon is short skip. Uh, it normally is an S3 to an S5, and it was 59 plus 30 dB. And uh, I heard a G2 Kilo Fox at St. Austell in Cornwall, but he was in QSO, so I didn't call him. But interesting, so there's a bit of short skip about. And uh, well done on doing a YouTube video, Chris. I look forward to seeing that on the air. I was looking at a few videos this afternoon, actually, on my phone. Amateur radio related, of course. One about the Hamvention, Dayton, Dayton Hamvention, Ohio being cancelled, which I thought that was on the cards anyway, coronavirus issue, and I knew that was going to be cancelled. I uh, think people are very disappointed, but I think, I think really if you thought sensibly about it, you, you knew that was going to happen, really did. And I'm sure uh, in this country quite a number of rallies are going to be cancelled in the very near future. I think uh, Ripon was supposed to be on in April. I can't see that going ahead. It might do, but I, I just can't see it. It's, we've got a way to go yet, haven't we? But it's nice to be on in the evening, and I've been at it with a few stations locally. I will pass it around to uh, you there, Ray. G6HMN, near Colm in Lancashire, M0XLT. You're around you uh, there, Ray. 